He's not prepared for that. Lady Sansa, forgive me. I'm a bit confused. See, because Brand could tell her. You. That's... None of you were there <laughs> to see what happened. But Brand did. None of you knows the truth. You held a knife to his throat. You said, I did warn you not to trust me. <laughs> yep. You told our mother this knife belonged to Tyrion Lannister. But that was another one of your lies. It was yours. He was what tried to kill Bran. Mm. Thank you, Sansa. I have known you since oh, you were a girl. Yeah. I've protected you. you protected me mm. by selling me to the right? Boltons. If we could speak alone. Oh, of course. I can explain everything. Sometimes when I'm trying to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. <laughs> I assume the worst. He's a dang it. What's the worst reason you have for turning me against my sister? I'm a slow learner. It's true. But I learn. Give me a chance to defend myself. I deserve that. Sansa, I beg you. Ah. Oh my god, dude. I loved your mother since the time I was a boy. And yet you betrayed her. I loved you. And yet you betrayed me. Anyone. And yet you betrayed <laughs> me. <laughs> Do it, You brought me back to Winterfell. You told me there's no justice in the world, not unless we make it. Thank you for all your many lessons, Lord Baelish. Oh my god, dude. I will never forget them. Oh, nice! Ah, there goes Littlefinger. I called that one. Those two you would, did! Those two would do it together. Yep. I didn't know if they'd like kill him or what they would do, but I just knew they were going to take him down. Mm-hmm. It didn't dawn on me though in, until... Yeah, until she said Lord yeah. Baelish. Yeah. Yeah. I'll miss little finger though. I like his sneaky sneakness. Yeah, it's time for him to go. I love Brian's like, oh, wait a minute, didn't you say this? I always knew you were the stupidest Lannister. <laughs> The Starks and Targaryens have united against us, and you want to fight alongside them. Are you a traitor or an idiot? You pledged our forces right? to fight our common enemy. I'll say whatever I need to say to ensure mm. the survival of our house. Do you really think you're on Greyjoy turn tail and sail back to the Iron Islands? <laughs> Do you think he abandoned the chance to marry the Queen? Uh-oh. Oh, that was a ploy? He's sailing with his Guess fleet. So. Oh. He's going to ferry the Golden Company back here to help us win the war for Westeros. Told you no one walks away from me. Oh no. Are you going to order him to kill me? I'm the only one you have left. Our children are gone. Our father is gone. It's just me and you now. There's one more yet to come. Oh my god. Don't tell me seriously? Give the order then. She didn't kill Terry. Why would she kill Jamie? More emotions involved, maybe? Yeah. If I can't have him, no, no one, one can. Will, yeah. yeah, that's true. Oh, Sam. oh, Sammy's back. That's right. Samuel Tarly. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you'd remember me. I remember everything. <laughs> Not creepy or anything. Yeah, it's like, okay, that's okay. <laughs> You helped us get beyond the wall. You're a good man. Oh, well, thank you, but um, I'm not sure that I am. You are. 
<laughs> what happened to you beyond the wall? I became the three-eyed raven. That's creepy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love Sam. Me too. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I can see things that happened in the past. I can see things happening now. All over the world. <laughs> He's on his way back to Winterfell. With Daenerys, Targaryen. He saw this in, in a vision. <laughs> <laughs> the real raven. Right. He needs to know the truth. Mm -hmm. The truth about what? About himself. No one knows. No one but me. John isn't really my father's son. <gasps> He's the son of Rhaegar Targaryen and my aunt, Lyanna Stark. <laughs> he was born in a tower in Dawn. He annulled Rhaegar's marriage to Elia. He wed Rhaegar and Lyanna in a secret ceremony. Are you certain? It's what the High Septon wrote in his private diary. I don't know why he'd lie. Brand, get going. Get your brain going. Is this something you can see? <laughs> there is this something you can see. <laughs> there you Father go. Smith. Yes. Warrior, from, from this, this day, day until, until the end, end of my it. days. <laughs> Robert's rebellion was built on a lie. Rhaegar didn't kidnap my aunt or rape her. He loved her. And she loved him. Uh-oh. <laughs> See, they're gonna get on. And then he's gonna find out the <laughs> truth. And he's gonna freak. And he's gonna back away. <laughs> I can't always just giggle. <laughs> what? I can't always just giggle. <laughs> oh, Tyrion. Jo oh, no, Tyrion. it's Tyrion. <laughs> that was angry, Jorah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> That's why I was giggling. <laughs> when it was just coming, <laughs> I was funny. like, they are going to get it on and we're going to see it happen. <laughs> He's never been a bastard. He's the heir to the Iron Throne. Uh, yeah. <laughs> John's probably like, I don't want that though. <laughs> You're the strongest person I know. I believe that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. <laughs> well, <laughs> don't get used to it. It's still very strange and annoying. When the snows fall and the white winds blow, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. <laughs> Sharks gotta stick together. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. They're like, oh yeah, because they don't know. Mm-mm. They're like, oh crap. He's fast too. Yeah, the night seems like I think I like this better than a horse. <laughs> yeah. Oh, snap. There goes the wall, or part of it. Now they'll be coming faster than they planned on them coming. Mm hmm. Because I don't think they ever knew that. He probably was gonna well, thank God Bran can see what's happening. That's true, so he can warn everyone. Oh, yeah, that's true. Bran's seen all this. I'm assuming he is. I think he, he is. He was working, and then they started yeah. to show it. I think he's seen all of this. Oh my god, look at him! I know, I'm so looking forward to the dragon fight next season. <laughs> uh. They're marching! Oh yeah, so they left this on a cliffhanger for you, huh? <laughs> yeah, so I don't know what happens after this. 
two whole years. <laughs> <laughs> so luckily I didn't have to wait very long. Uh, nope. I have to just wait like a day. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> Guess that was one advantage to not watching the series. Yeah, so right. So it's very it was over. And there they go. I didn't predict that. Well, I didn't even think about that. But the dragon melting the wall. I didn't even, <laughs> didn't even dawn on me. Mm. Ooh, discussion time. Ay, 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 ay. Where to start? Okay. <coughs> At the uh, beginning, I guess. Sure. Huh? Okay. <coughs> um, well, we checked back in with the Unsullied. Oh, uh-huh. I guess they're still at Castle Rock. Right. We never get answers if they left or not. Yeah. <clears throat> that was about that for them. Okay. Right. Then the book, well, a good portion of the episode was when they all met up in the dragon pit with Cersei. Yeah, we can just cover all that yeah i guess i mean there's a lot so we yeah. don't have to like do it brand and hound oh yeah they had, they had a little chit chat yeah, it was cute yeah i love how yeah she told them are you safe and they kind of smile at each other like okay no hard feelings We're right just to protect her. right right um and oh yeah the hound mount and they saw each other yeah so i'm hoping we get so oh, yeah, yeah, so this will be, I don't know what happens next season, so I can actually say I don't know. So I'm hoping we get a Hound Mountain. Well, then even Bre Bran was telling Jamie, you know, fuck loyalty. Oh, Brian. Yeah, mm -hmm. you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. And then it kind of looked like at the end there, he was kind of like, yeah. Oh, before he was leaving her, mm -hmm. Brian. No, when he left Cersei oh, right Cersei. at the very end there. Yeah, well, we'll talk about that later. Right, well, yeah. but I'm just saying, mm -hmm. you know, that played into that yeah, later, oh, like, kind of like, did. oh, well. You know. Yeah, like we gotta fight. I, I'm gonna uphold my honor here. You know. Exactly. So. And you're on being your on. Oh yeah. Okay. Um. Right. So Cersei saw the white. But Cersei's still Cersei. So yep. Cersei. Well, it freaked her out, but she's got herself. That was it. She don't give a shit about her people. It's just her. Really, that was all she cared about. I was like, oh my god, me, my baby, maybe Jamie. Where's Jamie? I mean, I, I understand, you know, being worried for yourself if things coming to George. Well, no, but I mean, in general, scale. she didn't think of, yeah, I mean, it was just, you know, and even after it settled down, she only thought of herself. She didn't think, oh my That's God. Thirsty for you. Yeah, I'm all right, yeah. That's why you gotta love and hate her. Yep. And so, right, so she tells John, um, don't make good choice with anyone. <laughs> and then John's like, well, sorry. I kind of already pledged my loyalty to Danny. <laughs> She's pissed. I know. And Danny was like, gee, I appreciate it, but... But the timing sucks. And she was like, can you learn to lie just a little bit? Or just not even say anything. But I do love how John says, he's like, when word, he's like, yeah. when words stop meaning... meaning uh, and right, if you keep lying, then words don't mean yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I do, I did like that line. You know, words. what's your word if, what's a, your word if it's all, if you never can't trust someone to Like speak. Cersei. Right. Oh, yeah. Cersei's the exact opposite. Always lying, so you never know if she's telling the truth or not, mm -mm. which obviously she was lying. Yeah, because, so, we can just have our plan, yeah, so she said, okay, I'll, so Tyrion came to talk to her, seemed like he convinced her. Right. Didn't, oh yeah, let's talk, to, why do you think she didn't kill him? I don't see that, I've been wondering about that. Because any other time she would have wanted to, like, she desperately wanted well, to. Well, I think she really wanted to when she really thought he killed Joffrey. Joffrey. But, no, he but in a way, though, too, she probably secretly was kind of glad her dad was gone. I was going to say her dad, be yeah. You know what I mean? And then really think about, like, if her dad wouldn't be gone and Joffrey wouldn't, well, he didn't kill Joffrey and Tommy, she, could queen. she wouldn't be queen. You know? So, so she can think Tyrion, right? In a roundabout way, she can kind of thank him for that because that kind of led to the mm -hmm. domino effect by killing the dad, their well, dad. And but I, And then I think also, here he is, he's serving himself up. For her to kill him. I don't think she was too easy. It was too easy, and I think I think it's like everything you want, you finally get it, and you're like, oh, I don't know if I really want it. Or that way. That way. It's like I think she wanted like earn it more. Yeah, or, you or know. something. Yeah, I don't know. Hard to say above and all all those things. Who knows with her? Yeah, but so yeah, he he didn't convince her, quote unquote, right? Because then she later goes to Jamie. She's like, no. Nope. <laughs> oh my God, when Jamie, well, we're talking about that. Yeah, so when Jamie was sending like their men to fight up north. She's like, you're the, stupid, you're the stupidest Lannister. Like, she's always so verbally abusive, abusive to, him. to him. I know. Always. And he loves um, her, so he puts up with it. Because they're an abusive, toxic Except for, I think, now, I think he's finally breaking. I think, I he's, think he's, about, yeah. he's like, I'm out. He laughed. 
Because that's the thing, right? So she gave the nod to the mountain to kill him. That the mountain didn't. So maybe he could sense she didn't really want to kill him, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, he didn't. Mm-mm. Yeah, but we, uh, you were shocked, though. I, I thought maybe she was going to. Because no, like you thing. say, it could be one of those, like, well, if I can't yeah, have you, no, no one's going to have yeah. you. Um, which, you know, I, I it's under, Well, it would make sense in abusive relationships. The abuser is usually the one, yeah, yeah. if I can't have you, no one can. Yeah. I, I thought, I honestly, for, I, okay. I thought it was the when end she of, gave the I honestly did. And then when he's, I honestly thought it was going to be the end of Jamie there for a second. No, we can't get rid of Jamie that easy. No, uh-uh. <laughs> and he left. Yeah. I, th I think he's gone for good. I think so too. I don't. I, I mean, he's he going to go so, fight. Yeah. He's going up north. Yeah, to help fight. Well, yeah, he looks so betrayed by Tristan. And I think he realized. I think mean, because everyone. I mean, people have told him, you know, over and over. Well, like she's going to be the ruin of you. Oh, yeah. then I told her like she, she's going to. I don't remember what she said, but pretty. Oh much, yeah, right. In her deathbed. Yeah, she pretty much told him like she's not good for you. Pretty much like yeah. she's going to ruin you or whatever. Something along those lines. Well, yeah. I'm sure Tyrion's tried to tell him before, mm -hmm. and I, I'm sure other people have told him. Well, because when Jamie's saying to Cersei, like, yeah, he's like, if we if we don't go north, either the dead are going to come down and kill us all. Or they're going to come back and kill us. Come Whoever over. survives is going to come kill us. Right. I know, Cersei's being so delusional. She is. She's always kind of... I don't think she really can fully fathom the... Scope. The scope of it. She just saw one, one and thought, oh, well, we can kill it with fire or, you know, drain glass, whatever. So what the heck? You know, what are you guys worried about? Mm-hmm. Well, we just saw a big oh army. Oh, my God. And a dragon. I'm, oh, God, I hope we get a dragon fight. I mean, like I said, I was so sad at first when Viserion died, but then when I had time to think about it, I thought, oh, that means we'll get a dragon fight. Oh, I'm hoping. Well, not hoping, but, like... I mean, do you know what I mean? Like, I do and I don't want to see it. I don't want a dragon No, fight, I don't want a dragon fight. But you know fight. they're going to have one. I don't want one, but you know they're going to do one. As long as they kill Viserion. Because he's already dead. So <laughs> just make him more dead. Uh, the other two should live because they're still alive. Okay, and then, um, okay, what the heck. Right, so when Jamie was leaving, I'll finish talking about him. Yeah, so snow started falling down mm. and she was landing. Yeah. It's the first time it's snowed in King's Landing, I think, in years. So that means winter is here. Yeah. It's no longer coming. No. Nope. It's finally here. Okay, right. Okay, so then... Right, John and Danny. Okay. Well, we'll talk about John and Danny. Let's just talk about John and Danny. Okay. So a whole long... Ep okay, so first thing, when they were in Dragon Pits, they were talk she was telling him how, oh, you know, I can't have any children. Because they, they talked a lot about how she can't have children. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And John's <laughs> like, well, maybe she wasn't the most reliable source of information. <laughs> Um, and then later they, um, <coughs> mm -hmm, which uh, we uh, knew, uh, which, <laughs> well, you knew that was coming. Okay. Now this is totally speculation. Cause obviously I have not been spoiled for season eight. Thank goodness. Right. So I do not know, but everyone over the past two years has talked about how chances are Danny's probably going to get pregnant. Right. Because they keep talking about, oh, I can't have kids. Right, 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 right. And now they're having sex. Now yeah. they're having sex. So like a girl's probably going to get pregnant. And it's probably because they're both Targaryens. It's probably the reason she could right. get pregnant. Oh, yeah. That's why I'm thinking. That's That's probably good why thinking. she never got pregnant with Dario. Because, because she never got pregnant with him. By him, you know? Yeah. Because if she thought she could have a kid, she probably wouldn't need some protection. Yeah, well, she did with the um, Dothraki guy. Drogo. Right. But it was because the witch did the magic on her. That made her lose her baby. It was when she said, you can't have kids then. Right. It was because she lost the baby from the magic. Right. And she said when the... Sun sets in whatever the, west? the opposites. I don't know. And rise no sets in the east. Where's fudge? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's the opposite. <laughs> what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, because he's a Targaryen. Okay. Yeah. So Tyrion. So he was out there outside of their door. No one obviously saw John go in. I can't tell what he's if he if he doesn't want. Me, oh, I don't think he wants it to happen by his look. It's like, I think he wants him to be having an alliance. But not be together. Well, he kind of think was crushing on her, but... Yeah, like, who was it? I don't know. But, but I don't think it was more... I think maybe he's worried they're going to get distracted, maybe? That, or be too powerful. I don't know. Or maybe he's worried, no, because he... Oh, I just saw this. Because he did say to Cersei that Danny is smart because he chose an advisor who can check her impulses. So maybe he's worried that if she's falling in love... Oh, he won't listen. She won't listen to him. 
Maybe, yeah, in that she, she always... Oh, like, listen to John. Though, granted, John can help check her in places, granted. He already did. Yeah, but John can be stupid, though, too. <laughs> John can be stupid. Um, Gotta well, love the guy. Gotta love him, but... He can be stupid. That is what, stupid. is it courage or is it stupidity? <laughs> it's courage for John. <laughs> It doesn't turn on this. It's stupid. It's stupid. That's so true. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I just read a quote on Facebook right. about the, there's really no difference between courage and stupidity. Well, we'll talk about the big reveal. Oh, wait, 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 wait. no. We got to about Sansa. Okay, and, oh. we'll talk about them first. Yeah, Sansa and Littlefinger. They got them. I know. God gave me a star for that. I but knew yeah. them girls would come together and take them down. I didn't know how. I didn't know how, what, how they were going to take them down, but I knew they were going to take them down. Yeah, they killed him. They took him down. Yeah, that was really taking him down. I didn't think they. I didn't. And, oh, sorry. I just didn't know how far it was gonna go. And then, like, publicly humiliated the guy. Got him on his knees, begging Sansa not to kill him. Oh yeah, that was good. I know when Sansa was like, "How do you answer to these crimes, Lord Baelish?" I know. <laughs> the look in his face was like, "Um, A what? Oh, what?" Because he was over there, so smug, oh, I know. turning sister against sister. And I'm thinking, I know. So when they had Arya come in, I'm thinking. What? Really? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know what was going to happen. I guess it didn't even dawn on me that that should have been my moment. I realized that <laughs> they were going to take down Littlefinger. But it didn't even yeah. dawn on me until yeah. all of a sudden she turned. I'm like, oh, I was right. They were going to take him down. And I didn't even see it coming. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, the, that's the thing. And it begs the question. Did the girls know this entire time he was playing him and they were just acting for him? Or do they really, were really, really going against each other and then they just like talked off screen, like talked to Brian and were like, okay, we got the scope, and then took him down? I don't know. Because I honestly do not know. And people have talk, debated it and I don't even know. Because I don't, I don't, the show never gave us an answer to that. Oh, yeah, good point. I don't know. Maybe next season, but probably not. Probably not. We'll probably just just leave it up to whatever you want to believe. Honestly, I, I kind of like, well, at first I didn't like the, I, okay. At first I liked the idea of them like, like pretending and actually plotting, but I think it makes it more realistic that they were actually fighting because they used to fight and right. now here they're like having to rediscover right. who their sisters. And then, yeah, then maybe they talked. Well, there probably know. was some bickering, and then yeah. probably Bran came to them. And like, then, hey, you know, yeah, because yeah, they probably saw them bickering and stuff, too, mm -hmm. and thought, you know what, this is stupid. You girls need to come together on this, you know? Yeah, yeah. Take a little finger down. Yeah. But honestly, though, oh, like, I always had a love hate thing for Littlefinger. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> so I was actually kind of, when I first watched it, I was kind of sad he died. Like, a part of me was so proud of Sansa when she was like, I'm a slow learner, it's true, but I learn. Like, I'm so proud right. of her. I'm like, oh, Sansa, you know, she's learned so much and grown so much. I'm so proud of her. But, like, at the same time, I was like, I kind of really want a little finger to last because I love his smug smirks and, and I just, I don't know. <laughs> it was his time. It was his time. Um, he served his purpose. And then, well, speaking of Sansa and Arya, then they talked at the end mm. how um, they... Need would, to stick together. And, I, and, and Sansa says that famous... Uh, quartet, I guess. Right. I, can't, I can't remember the first parts, but the ending is, yeah, when um, when the white winds blow and so on and so forth, you know, the lone wolf dies, but the pack survives. Yep. So, Stark stick to another. Yeah. Okay, and then, oh wait, Theon and John. Oh, yeah. John told Theon, pretty much, you gotta forgive yourself. Pretty right. much. Is and I'll forgive you up to a point. And he tells Go Theon. Go help your sister. Which I think is beautiful. He tells his, like, Theon, you're a great joy and a start. Yeah, but you have to choose. Can't you be both? Yeah. And Theon's like, okay, I'm going, I'm going after Yara. Yeah. And he gets into a fight. And because he doesn't have a penis, <laughs> he was able to win that fight. Yeah. <laughs> he used it to his strength. So that well, I don't think there's anything down there. Yeah. I don't know how much they could. Because it would probably be the balls, too. So I think that's usually the, the part testicles. That hurts. Yeah. That's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. It must yeah. be anything down there. No, it's probably nothing. It's probably well, because they always imply it was just the penis, but. Yeah, it makes sense. They probably took Yeah, everything, everything probably. Um, oh, am I going? Okay, right. Oh, yeah. Hold on one second. So, Cersei, before mm. Jamie left, they're talking about how Euron was going to go get the Golden Company. Mm -hmm. But, like, because Euron left, like, oh, I'm afraid of this. And he left. Mm -hmm. But how did they... That's what I'm thinking. Yes. Like, uh, when and how did when? they... Yeah. Because they didn't know. They, no, they didn't. No, unless different. unless they had pre-planned it and said if any whatever if anything weird like 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 find you, an excuse to leave. to leave or something could be 
Or maybe he's, or maybe he left because he was freaked out, and then she met back up with him quick, like and was like, hey. "Who knows? I don't know." Yeah, I know. I think that was a flaw in the show's part, honestly. Yeah, it could have been, or yeah. I don't know. I know because wait, how did they know I to know. do that when he left right on the spot? I know he did. Unless, like you say, they met. She was able to get word to him afterwards, or um, they had pre-talked about. You know, pretend you're going to leave no matter what or that something. That makes more sense to me then. Like, no matter what it is, yeah, pretend, pretend you're going to leave. Yeah. No matter what. That makes more sense to me, honestly. You know, find a reason to leave or something. I'd believe that, sure. Not I seriously. Know. Yeah. Okay. Sam. Sammy, Sam. Yeah. Sam. He showed back up at Winterfell. Yeah. Bran told him the story. So, we know for a fact now that John is not a bastard. And he is the true heir to the Iron Throne, as Bran said. And I love that they say that right when he's getting on with Danny. <laughs> it's funny, though. I love how, so, you know, we see the flashback. We saw Rhaegar for the first time. Um, and him marrying Lyanna. Yeah, like all the stories were a lie. Mm -hmm. Well, Ned probably, Knew. well, he helped feed that lie, probably. You know I mean? To save John. To protect John. Oh, yeah, he probably never said anything otherwise, because, oh, uh, the heck. Uh, Robert definitely would have been like, oh yeah, he kidnapped Lyanna and he, and he raped her because he hated Rhaegar because obviously Lyanna and Robert were betrothed. Right. So Robert, I'm sure, was one of the, the ones that really like, were like, hey everyone, he's, Rhaegar was a terrible guy, you know? Right, like, right, right, right. But then like, like we learned with Sister Barristan when he was talking to Danny, he was like, oh, Rhaegar was a good guy. Like, right. Like, senior people raised so we always had these conflicting reports of them. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, okay, but what I like is how they parallel how when that Bran says he loved her and she loved him. Oh yeah, they, they show, open the door. They, show, <laughs> they say that on John's face, he loved her. Danny's face, she loved him. Oh, I know, I know, they I know. They purposely, oh, they I did know, that. Yep. I know, And they got it on. I and we know. got a um, nice, not to objectify, but we got a nice John. Booty shot? Booty shot, I know. I was like, okay. Maybe. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't have noticed. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll be honest, I may not have noticed, just saying, <laughs> but moving on. Um, and then I think the ending was that big ending, the wall Oh, coming yeah, down. the wall coming down. Oh, wait, but before, because we kind of talked about John and Danny really quick. We talked a little bit about how, like, how they might take hearing the news, because I'm assuming they're going to, they have to find out. They have to find out, and I'm going to assume, I think it's going to freak him out. Okay, but, but here's the thing, I was going to ask you at the beginning of the episode, and I realized, I was almost going to ask you this, and I realized, wait, she doesn't know they have, they've had sex yet. Um, so I had to stop myself from asking this. Um, I kind of figured they would, though. Yeah, but with Danny, do you think, um, now that we know that John's a true heir, if she finds that out, do you think that, as someone mm. who thinks she's the true heir, do you think that's going to bug her, or do you think she's going to oh, be okay with that? Oh, that could bug her, too. I didn't think of that. <clears throat> I on, I honestly think I think she'll I think both of them will be shocked. Obviously, that's a no brainer. I think they'll pull apart. I think Danny. Yeah, I think she'll. She probably more likely come around I do. before I think, John. I think she'll be relieved that she has family in this world. Mm -hmm. You know, she's not the last one because she's held on to that for a long time, and I think honestly she'll be comforted by that. Mm -hmm. Not maybe at first, but I do believe that. I think John, being John, he's gonna be like this ain't right. <laughs> this is just. You know, right, 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 right. I can just hear him in his voice. Yeah, I know, because he's so that. noble that I think he'll have a hard time with it and he'll pull yeah. away. And then and then I'm hoping they'll talk and other people, who knows, maybe Sam can be like, it's fine. Well, because, you know, I still I still want them to... They have a baby. To ha they, they I want baby. them to have a baby, the other dragon babies, they'll defeat oh, Cersei no. and live happily ever after, but I know that's it's, it's, a Hallmark movie and this isn't a Hallmark it's, movie. It's so. funny, it's funny how... <laughs> At the end of season six, I remember, when we found out they're related, you uh -huh. were like, oh, they're probably going to meet and fall in love, right? Yeah. But I remember you being like, oh, that's, that's going to be weird and gross and stuff. Well, no, I meant for them. I mean, it'll be weird. No. I didn't say weird and gross and stuff. Well, no, you didn't say it like that, but I remember you kind of like alluding that that would be weird if they got together because they're related. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm just saying, I used to think that too until I saw them get together and I was like, I'm cool with it. <laughs> well, I thought it was, but then when you, then you were like, well, not for Danny because that's her world, but yeah. for John, it still will be. For John, it's going to bother him. Yeah. 
I know. Right? How, it, How can well, he not? I know. How can it not? How can it not? Well, and then, then not, not just being related, but only he's a true heir. To be flipping on your throne. And he didn't ask for it. He didn't ask for it. I don't want it. I didn't ask for it. <laughs> so Why I me? I can so hear him saying that. He's like, I don't want it. I can so hear him saying <laughs> He's like, I, I didn't ask for it. I can so hear him saying, like, oh, I never wanted this. And someone, Sam or Tyrion, someone's going to be like, okay, dude, you just got to suck it up. And like... I don't know. I can hear one of them just like giving oh him advice, being like, John, you're being a stubborn idiot right now. <laughs> that have to be Sam. He'd listen to Sam. He would listen to Sam. He would. Because I feel like Sam was paying attention to what Gilly was saying. He did. He, did. he heard it. He did hear it. Well, prop, good thing Sam did hear. Because that's the thing. So we learned that Bran, he's not able to see everything, obviously. He has to direct his thoughts. Right, 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 right. So he saw that part of it. But he, yeah, unless he sees all of it. And so unless right. he knows to look for something, he right. won't necessarily always see it. Right. Which is interesting. So it's nice that he does have right. limits. Right. So because he well, obviously would have wanted to go see his dad's death. So that's how come he knew what happened. With right, when Littlefinger, little finger, oh yeah, you had Betrayed him and said, oh yeah, you shouldn't trust me. Yeah, or what, you you're, to trust right. me. Right. So, because he probably, those were things that he wanted mm -hmm. to go see. Exactly. He's like, okay. He probably went and he probably watched Rob and his mom. Probably. You know, even though they didn't show it. You know darn well he did. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, there's, mm -hmm. he probably went and All saw his, Arya, his brother. Sam, uh, yeah, at, right. But they've all probably been through. Right. He probably went and tried to see snippets of his whole family. You know, the Rickon thing. And, mm -hmm. you know, even though they didn't show it. He probably He, he probably point. went and worked and saw those significant things, yeah, you know, but like you say, then unless someone tells him, oh, go look at this, or I'll take you here, yeah. you know, when he was learning to be the Three-Eyed mm -hmm. Raven, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh. But interesting, though, that the Three-Eyed Raven took him, he probably purposely took him to see when John was going to be born. Because why would the Three-Eyed oh, Raven yeah, take did. him? Why did. Right, he why did. Would he, and see, he purposely took him back to the village with Hodor to meet Hodor before he even knew Hodor was Hodor when Hodor was whatever that kid's name was I can't remember Willis. now Willis you mean so the three-eyed raven purposely was taking him to certain places for key events that's the thing I heard someone mention this before like why I mean yes yes it's cool that John you know is the true heir but like why is that well, I guess it's important but like why have him see that? Why not see other things also? You know what I mean? Why focus? Well, because he didn't have probably didn't have time to go see everything. He was no, still no, in no, training. No, 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 But I'm at the show. You know, focusing in on that. Oh. Like having Bran focus in on that. Like, it, it might only seem important to John because the, everything's in chaos. If this right. was, Before everything went into chaos, that'd be, I think, extra important. But like, how is this? It has to do, it has to probably do something with the Lord of Light, right? Because they brought John back for a reason. Oh, yeah. There has to be a bigger reason that do you know what I'm trying to say? I don't really know what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, I guess we'll find out. Hopefully. Um, all I know is we only got six episodes next season. But I think that some of them are going to be long. So all I know is they better reveal it like in the first... Because they're going to Winterfell. Yep. John and Danny together. Yep. Oh, God. I can't wait to see Sansa's reaction. <laughs> Oh my so god. Sansa's not gonna be happy with that. Uh -uh. I don't know about Arya. She'll be happy. Oh, she'll be Arya happy. Arya and John, they'll be reunited. Oh, yeah. But um, I'm, I, I, I'm, yeah. I just well, Arya will be happy for him. Yeah, but I don't think Sansa's gonna like that John's gone to the other Danny. I don't mm -mm. think Sansa's gonna like that one a little bit. Some... Well, now when they all find out they're all related. Oh my god. Like I say, <gasps> well, that's the thing in the Northern Lords. I don't know how they're gonna take that John's a Targaryen. I mean, he's still a Stark, but he's also a Targaryen. Mm. I don't know how they're going to take it. No idea. Well, it depends on how much they tell people, though, too. Because Bran, mm -hmm. Bran's like, oh, I'm going to tell John. John has to know. But yeah. that doesn't mean everyone. they have to tell everyone. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, gosh. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, and Jamie, because he's going up north. Yeah, Jamie's going to go fight. So. Him and Bran. Bran. Well, and I'm kind of hoping he runs into Danny because he could her dad. So that might be interesting. She tried, he tried to kill her on the battle. So I'm, I'm curious to see if they're going to meet. Yeah. Um, and talk. And I'm excited to see the Hound. I'm hoping, you know, have Hound him Mountain. see. Oh, yeah, the Mountain. But also have him see Arya, possibly. Oh, yeah, yeah, a, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because he, he was trying to protect them both, both too them. at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah, going back to the wall. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah, Tormund and Barak, they were trying to get out of there. Yeah. So hopefully they're okay. Yeah. I think they'll be okay. I don't feel like they're dead. No. Like if they died, they would have showed us. Yeah. 
And then, yeah, that dragon, man, Viserion. Oh, he said he took down that oh, wall and they're marching past. And, and pretty fast, too. I love how there's like a pause after the wall goes down. And and then the first White Walker takes a step on the horse and the music starts. I, I just love know. that. Yeah, so, oh my gosh. I'm, anything else you want to add? Nope. That's good enough. Okay, so what are our predictions quickly? Oh, For crap. I eight? already told you mine with John I and know. Danny. Right, with John and Danny. They're going to find out they're related. Yeah. They better. And you think she's going to be pregnant. Oh, yeah. There's, that was your prediction. That has to be obvious right? how much they keep talking yeah, about. Right. She, she's old kid of kids. Come yeah, on, girl. You you're right. So that's on. yours. Oh, come on. She's well, celebrating. you know, I mean, I'm sure my my Hallmark ending won't happen. Oh, but I'm still going to pray. I kind of want it to happen. I want well, me to too, happen. but you know, it's... Not Hallmark, it's Game of Thrones. Yeah. I don't know how it's going to end. Uh, so that tells me that, you know, like, because, okay, it's Game of Thrones. Well, let's play Little Fingers game. Assume the worst. <laughs> Assume the worst. Cersei wins. I don't think that so. That would be the worst. I don't think Cersei's going to win, though. I don't either. I'm not gonna... Good has to triumph over evil. Uh, do you think Cersei could die? I think she might die. I can't imagine Cersei dying, but I feel like she died. Oh, I never thought about that. I feel like Cersei might die. I, here's the thing. Not spoiler, I just people have talked about again. Yeah, we're just throwing our guesses out. People have talked about how chances are now again. I don't know how true this is because again, this was before the season, new season started. Um, but a lot of people said that they think either John or Danny, one of them has to die, or one of them's gonna live. I hate that idea, but if Danny's pregnant, then that means she has to live, and John's gonna like die some noble death or something because he's stupid. Because he's stupid, but courageous. But stupid, and then John, Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, and uh, Danny, oh, Danny, to carry on with their new baby. Or God something. damn it! I don't know though. I have no idea. Obviously, that pisses me off. I, don't, I know I want them to be happy, but can, can you imagine yeah. happy? Ending? No, not for Game of Thrones. Ah. That's all. The, like they'll give us a piece of it. Like okay, the good will win, but it won't be all the good we want. Oh, It'll just be a piece of the good. And then like, what about Sansa and Arya? I don't know. They're just gonna just. Stay in Winterfell as a family. Well, they got the dead coming. They gotta get out. Well, I meant no. I meant like after the oh. de <laughs> dead's defeated. Well, they just then like oh, you sure. know stay I'm just sure. do their thing. No, oh, there's so much. I'm so excited. I've had to wait two whole years and a whole month because I kid you not, you guys. We'll be starting the eighth season right when season eight just finished. So that's how, that shows you how behind we are. Um, but nice thing is, that means we don't have to wait each week, so we can watch each episode each night for this. This is our Game of Thrones week. So, <laughs> no Vikings, just Game of Thrones, because I... Sorry, Vikings, we gotta get this done with. Well, especially since now that it's done, you know all the spoilers are coming out. And I've been avoiding reading comments and all that jazz. I've been really, like, trying Staying to avoid... social media. Yeah, I'm really trying to be careful not to put any spoilers. So, I'm not gonna get spoiled the last week we start watching season eight. I refuse right. to. I refuse to come all this way and then get spoiled. I'll be so mad. So we're not gonna get spoiled. Anything else you want to nope. add? Long episode. This has been almost two hours. So <laughs> hope you guys um, enjoyed that episode. And don't forget to <sighs> subscribe and like and comment. And check out my Patreon if you want for full-length reactions. And yeah, have a beautiful day. Bye. Night.